your kind of uh, your main um, object that you've uh, well, you've there, there are so many of them. I mean, a, a good starting point maybe will be something like this, uh, which is the first edition. There are only 500 printed, and uh, Brooks' mother paid for them, and the contract between Brooke and the publisher uh, was witnessed by Virginia Woolf. Really? Yeah. <laughs> It's extraordinary, though, that Brooke has, has such an enduring reputation, though, and, and, I mean, it's based on that, basically, that, that, that little book of which there were 500? That one little book. He could have gone on to be quite a good playwright. He r really wanted to write more plays and had met the right people. He was seeing a lot of Catherine Nesbitt, uh, Kathleen Nesbitt, the actress, and um, he met a friend called Morris Brown in Chicago who put plays on and produced plays. So I think they had a vague plan to, to go to Paris, maybe, after the war, um, whereas Morris Brown would produce, uh, Kathleen Nesbitt would act, and he would write. But this was the only, the only play that he actually wrote in his lifetime. It, it's not really much. It, it's a bit lightweight, and it's a bit of an old story, uh, but it's called Lithuania. And here's an original program from it, which is, uh, which is quite nice, but it's, it's falling apart a little bit now. Aside from the actual pieces of writing, have you got any things that are personal to Brugge himself? Yes, I have actually quite a few bits and pieces that I've uh, accumulated one way or another. Uh, Brooke is, is on the front page here of the Times, and inside um, is, is the actual obituary written uh, by Churchill. Here it is on page five. Um, on the same page as the, uh, the write-up on the FA Cup final. Unexciting uh, Cup final? Yeah, that's right. It was ever thus. Uh, and that was Sheffield United against Chelsea. Um, and here is uh, here it actually is. This is the actual paper from uh, from the 26th of April. Of course, he died three days before. Uh, when he was in Canada, he lost a lot of his writing. There's nothing worse for a poet or a writer to lose something you've written. You think I'm never going to see it again. I can't quite remember it. And he got to San Francisco and he was distraught the fact that he'd lost all this stuff. And hey, so welcome back to identifying literature with Jared. It's not an actual show. Just you know, why not? So, as you guys heard in the uh, video I just showed you, um, Rupert Brooke actually wrote a one-act play called Lithuania. And me being the theater person that I am, I was just kind of interested in this. I was like, he wrote a one-act play. So I looked into it, and um, the one-act play takes place in Lithuania, which, if, if you don't know where it is, I conveniently have Google Earth right open. So we're going to go find it. So Lithuania is right here. So, kind of like Eastern Europe-ish, so they're kind of poor, and especially back then they were. Um, so Lithuania is about a, there's a poor family, stranger comes in, and of course, back then everyone was really nice to each other, so they welcome the stranger in, they feed him, they offer him a, a, a bed for the night. The family decides like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna kill him and steal all of his money. So previous to that, uh, their son actually ran away and has been missing and the daughter claims that he drowned years back and the mother was like, oh, if he ever shows up again, we're never gonna take him back into the family. So big deal, big family drama, ooh, scary. So essentially, family says we're, we're, we're gonna kill this guy, right? The father tries to do it, can't do it, he can't do it, so he gets, he gets drunk and uh, doesn't come home. So later, later that night, the daughter takes an axe and and kills the the stranger for sure. So daughter kills the stranger. Day arrives and the vodka shop owner, which the father went to the night before to get drunk, shows up and he goes, "Oh, you killed the stranger." It's actually your son. What did we learn today? Don't kill random strangers. By at all. Just don't kill random strangers, period.